And welcome to the St. Francis Medical Center Player of the Game post-game video interview here on WBCB1490.com. Being joined by Daquan Hargrove of the Trenton Central Tornadoes, held on for a 70-57 win over Notre Dame tonight. Tell me what was it like being on the court out there, man? It had to be it, tense. It, it was a great win because they kept running their mouth, and they kept running their mouth, and we was like, we was going to beat them. So and they kept talking and talking, and we just kept working hard. That's the practice. And all we're facing in practice pays off in the game, so that's how we won. Have you encountered a lot of teams that, that kind of run their mouth a lot on the courts? Yeah, and we make up for it. That's why we beat them. I was going to say, is that usually something that gets you guys going? Yes. All right, so uh, first quarter you come out, you guys are absolutely dominating 27-8. to eight. Then the second quarter held only, I think it was seven points. What happened between those first, you know, the first and uh, we second? We started slacking, and that's when they started got back in the game, and we wasn't doing our job, but we picked it up in the third quarter and the fourth quarter, and that's how we took over the game and won. So I was going to say, what did Coach kind of say at the halftime to said, get you guys he fired? He said, pick it up, good, great defense, and let's turn it up. And he was like, okay, and we just, we just got ready, came out, and played how we played. Um, uh, seeing you guys early in the season, seeing you again now, it looks like you guys have done a lot of growing as the year has gone on. Do you feel like that's that's true? Yes, everybody growing, everybody coming together, and hopefully we do what we got to do, and yeah. do what we got to do, come together and win states. And we miss the one player that's mainly, that's what we really need is mm -hmm. Nelson, and he said he'd be back in like another week, so hopefully, hopefully we break hard and get back until he come back, and then everything will really be good. All right, I was going to say, you know, obviously you just mentioned that the playoffs are coming up, Mercer County tournament's coming up. Where are some areas you guys need to, you know, improve need, a little a, bit? We need to work on stepping in, in the paint, and don't allow the three-point shots and just break hard and just keep running the floor. That's all. All right, and uh, you feel pretty confident, though, that you guys match up with anybody favorably? Yes, we can do that. We can match up with anybody. If we all make our layups and go out strong and run the floor, we can beat anybody. All right. Because well, we, we the most hard workers team in the CBC. I was going to say, this is now, I think, third year that Greg's been here as a head coach. Obviously, the first year, guys were kind of caught off guard by, by how he wants to, his team to run and hustle. Do you feel like it's gotten easier with each year being in this program here? It got easier, and... They got, that's all you can make us do is run. And once all work run, it pays off. In, I mean, pays off in the game. So we keep running and running and running. That's not punishment. That's just making us get better and work hard. That's all. All right. Well, uh, Daquan, big game for you tonight. 13 points for your efforts. Going to get a free hoagie from the Italian People's Bakery in Delhi. Keep up the good work, man. Hopefully, we'll be talking again in the states. All right. All right. Thank you.